In today's session of Divorce Court, Carol May says that before she married Homer, their sex life sizzled. But as soon as she said, I do, the sex fizzled. I can't continue a relationship with someone that can't even make me sexually satisfied. She was teasing me and taunting me and getting me all excited. And then whenever I wanted to do it, it was laying there. Woo! Carol says since Homer isn't having sex with her, he must be seeing someone else. I think he's got someone else on the line. Oh, no. I can't go for the rest of my life without sex. Now Carol wants a divorce, and she wants Homer to pay her back for the money she spent trying to get him in the mood in today's session of Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Carol May versus Homer May, and I'm advised that you've tried everything that you can to save this marriage. Just not working, Mrs. Uh, May. What's the problem? Well, the problem is, is everything that I've tried hasn't successfully made him be able to uh, perform. Perform and what? Sex. Everything you've tried, he's been unable to perform sex. Tell me more about that. I bought this negligee plus all these items. What are those items? This is a natural product that's supposed to help you get a, um, an, erection? an erection. What made you think your husband needed that? Because he couldn't get an, an erection. Well, how did you know? How long? This was right after marriage you found this out? He was having a little bit of a problem when we first got together, and he said it was because of his heart medication. But then he got off of his heart medication, and the problem still existed. Well, now, Mr. May, according to these papers, says when you were dating, you had great sex. What happened? That was fine. That's true. And then after you married... But once we got married, everything just started going downhill. He well, maybe it was the fact that you married him. He can only have sex with people that he's not married to. Is that it, Mr. May? No, it ain't. Probably. So she's saying that all yeah, of that she... didn't help you get an erection. Let me see the lingerie. Right. Hold that up. <laughs> Santa Claus? Yeah. You play Santa Claus? <laughs> To try to get him excited? Yeah. Well, that's because he found out a long time ago that Santa Claus does not come down the chimney, and he's not real. <laughs> See, you came up with some more fantasy. You weren't real to him. He likes that. He told me, but he told me that uh, he liked uh, me to try all this stuff, like uh, handcuffs and tying him down and all this kind of strange stuff, because he said that I, wasn't I had uh, no. A long time ago, I used to get into that kind yeah, of thing. I know. And when you first he, met him, he wanted you know. to pressure me. When I got older, I got out of it, and he wanted me to continue to stay in it. But when you, you met him, you were doing message. handcuffs no, and other things. No, I told him about me doing it. Oh, you told him about the past yes, behavior. Yes, and then yeah. he wanted me to to do it. And that so excited him. That's why him. I went out and I done all that. I went out and bought all these items. I went out and bought <laughs> handcuffs and and. Uh, Vi he everything. even had to buy no. Viagra to, but, to help him, and it didn't help. I didn't buy it. She bought it, and I ain't, and she took Mr. it. I ain't took it yet. Mr. May, Viagra? you didn't take the Viagra? That's right. I ain't took it. Women don't take Viagra, well, as far as I, I know. I I ain't took none of oh, that either. There's you a have. new ruling that says women can take Viagra. Well, I don't know about it, because I don't she's, need it. I, she's but took explain that stuff. something to me. Was she saying that before marriage, or at least according to the court papers, your statement says before marriage, the sex was great. It was. But after marriage, things went downhill. Now, why is it sex is good well, you when you're the, dating, but you're once you make the, a commitment, it's no longer good? You get in the mood and, uh, when you're uh, getting ready to do it, and a kid walks in the room. I think I heard you say, when you get in the mood, meaning when you get ready for sex, yeah. and a kid knocks on the door, Knocks on the door or just walks on in. Or walks in. That's right. And then that just turns you off completely. That's right. Yeah, no matter what she has on, right? He'll sit here and he'll well, say that it's all because how, wait uh, minute, wait somebody's going to knock on the door before they ever knock on the door. Miss Mays, hold on. Well, maybe he already knows that your kids are going to knock on the door. How old are these Is kids? He, 15, what, can you 15, read people's minds? Hold on. 15, Remember the rule. 15, 12, 16, 9. You're, 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 oh, you're not kidding. 15-year-old, 12-year-olds, 9-year-olds... And a 16-year-old. When the two of you are in your room together, the door is closed? Yeah. Your children... The door is not locked? No. It doesn't lock? 
It, it locks. does, but we don't lock it. But you don't lock it. Right. But that well, doesn't if, matter. Even when we lock the door, yes, it does Will lock. you please let me get a word in? If the door doesn't, if the door locks and you don't lock it, why don't you just lock it? Wouldn't that solve your problem? We do lock it. They stand there and pound on it. So They'll your kids are not trained to allow you to have your privacy and your time together as parents, as adults? No, they don't. So why don't you say something? Have you talked to them yeah, about it? Yeah, we do. We told them that we throw them out and everything. That still happens. It, what and they you, do is they come down and they'll knock on the door and they'll say, we want this or we want that. And we'll say, we're busy, go away. And then they'll, well, can't you do this first? But that's not the problem. The problem the is problem? the sex problem. He's got a problem with impotency. And I can't continue a relationship with someone that can't even make me sexually satisfied. I can get sexually well, satisfied. Got kids that, running. Wait a minute. Have you told him that he's not sexually satisfying you? Yes, I've told him. I've done everything I could. But why Why did he do I've it? I've performed oral sex and everything that so you can I. think of on this man. It ain't done nothing for him. So nothing turns him on? Nothing. I don't know what it is. What do you think is the problem? I think he's got someone else on the line waiting back there. Why do well, something? You, you you're just the one taking the pills, not a Yeah, you're the one that I caught walking out of the neighbor's house that is only a woman when she was getting a divorce. So, no, as a matter of fact, she was divorced. Well, well wait a minute, Miss. Right Miss May. Miss May, you took Ms. You May, 20 talk minutes to, me. to get a sweeper? Miss May, talk to me. Me. It took him 20 minutes to go into this house to borrow our sweeper back. Close your mouth a minute. You said two things and it's inconsistent. I want to get rid of him because of impotency. Everything I do, I can't get him satisfied and can't get him, he can't satisfy me sexually, it doesn't arouse me. Now you say, I think he doesn't have sex with me because there's somebody else. Maybe the he's chick already down got his thing off. Maybe he's got what? He's got his thing off. He's already done his groove. He's finished his gasoline tanks empty. <laughs> By the time he gets to me. Ooh, you just said a mouthful there that you have to interpret into English. So now you think he's sleeping with someone else? Yeah. Can I interpret that to say he's sleeping with someone else? Yes. So why do you think he's sleeping with someone else if he can't why arrest he sexually satisfied? Well, well, before we were married, he was able to do it, whatever happened. That's what I'm asking. What happened, Mr. May? Well, like I did said, she stress. change? Did her attitude change? Well, well that and she spent three days with three guys. Now tell me what she did. Oh, you tell them what happened. No, no, tell me what, three days with three guys. Well, he let, here we are on our anniversary, and he leaves me down at the lake with his buddies. Because you hit me. I left. I, I hit said, you. That's right. And Ms. everybody May I've asked if I hit him, every one of them can you tell know what? you that. I it can't didn't hit happen. either one of you, but when I hit this gavel, I'll close your mouth. Now, what happened after the marriage? You saying that Just, she's doing something that you don't like? Okay, I bathe her. I have her clothes ready to go to work. You did what? I bathe her for morning when she goes to work. I have her clothes ready. You I have bathed her, her. That's right. I have her coffee. Yeah, he did spoil I, me. That's what kept I me in love her back. with him. I'll rub her feet, put my hand, bring her to her hair, tell her she's sexy and everything else. And it don't work. So the problem is the two of you suddenly don't satisfy each other. And I think it's the sad part about it is that you've told me that it was great until you married. It must have been the excitement of not being married that made it good to you. Is that it? No, I liked it when it was good. <laughs> if I could get it to do what it used to do, I might get good again, but it wouldn't, but now, it won't do it. But now you said that he would get you all excited and then say, wait till tomorrow. What's that, a tease? He would do things to me to sexually get me excited. And then he'd tell me, wait till tomorrow. Or wait till you're off work there. again. Because he, you think he was teasing you and trying to... He was teasing me and taunting me and getting me all excited. And then whenever I wanted to do it, it was laying there doing so nothing. So he was making you upset. Why would get, you do that? That sounds awfully cruel. Excited. How you get excited just laying there? Don't no movement. That's no awfully cruel, Mr. Right. May. Why would you? I wasn't you get... always doing no movement. I got up and did lap dances for you. That's before we got married. When divorce court returns, Carol talks about other problems in the marriage. Why couldn't he just love me for me? Cause he never loved you for you. He loved you for what you could do for him. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court. Call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in the case of Carol May, who is divorcing her husband Homer because she says he can't satisfy her sexually. 
You did lap dances before you got married? That's right. For him. He would, I would put on some sexy music and I would do dances and stuff for him. And then you stopped after you got married? After I got well, married. Well, it sounds like that you start doing what you were doing before marriage. Whenever it got to the point where, I didn't do it all the time. It was some, something I did on an occasion. It wasn't like we did this crazy stuff all the time. Well, but I'm saying, it's, you said I did the lap dances before I stopped. I used to do the handcuff stuff that he liked, and I stopped doing it. Why did you stop doing everything that he liked you, what you were doing? Because there wasn't no need in it. There was nothing happening to him. I tried and tried and tried other things, and it stopped. still didn't Why do it. Sense? But what he was saying to you is that those are the only things that got me excited before, and you stopped doing the things that excited me. See, you thought it was other stuff that was exciting him, and you stopped. You didn't figure that out? Why couldn't he just love me for me? I, I didn't do that stuff when we first got together. Because he never loved you for you, obviously. He loved you for what you could do for him. Just like you loved him for what he could do for you. You know, actually, the Physically. things that I loved about him, he never stopped doing. And I never stopped doing a lot of the things that he loved for me. But the sex part is the part that's really going downhill. So, Mr. May, you're not telling me that you're not having any sexual uh, no, relationships sex. with her? No, two we're minutes. In. Oh, now he's become the two-minute man. <laughs> when he gets a bone, well, when he gets it. Now he's become the two-minute man. When, oh, whenever he gets it. I'm a two-minute man, I'm a no-minute man. For about what a minute or two and... Now, let me ask you something. When you're trying to have sex with her, does she seem, does she continue to call you all these names and tell you how terrible it is and the fact that you're not arousing her and you're not pleasing her when you're trying to do it? Does she do that? No, she just lays there. So not always. She doesn't Most say anything to arouse you. Nope, she don't even try nothing to get me aroused. She just lays there. Uh, she says she uses I, all those potions. Oral sex ain't nothing. I mean, wait a minute, don't even May. get it up with she that. She says she uses all those potions and that she little gown right there and play Santa Claus. She doesn't. Wait, wait. The, the potion stuff. Yeah. The pills. She what? took the pills. I just told her I had to go get some water. I'd go You're around full and of it. Ah, you I took these no, every morning to a piece. No, I didn't. Yes, sir, and you no, give you me some. Hoping that I had a problem, what? too, I was going to take it, What too. are the pills, Miss May? They're supposed to help you get sexual enhancement, to get you uh, excitability, to make you want to do something. So the two of you took those every so day? So the two of us took these you every took day. Well, maybe you should try doing what you were doing before, taking nothing. <laughs> You shouldn't have changed what was good. When it was good, you shouldn't have changed. That's why we use these, because it quit. Well, maybe you thought she's she cheating with somebody else. Oh, he told me that I could go out and get it if I want to, because he knows that he couldn't perform for me. Well, oh. And I told him that I wasn't going to do somewhere. it because I'm married and I'm not going to do that. Well, so I what's the solution? I don't feel it's right. So what's the solution now? What's the solution? He's saying that if you keep the kids away from the door, and keep them out of the way that he can take care of business with you the and he can ain't perform. Even always there. Oh. That's just when they ain't there, we do it great. We so do. So why don't you yeah, just try to like to know about this one? <laughs> why don't you refresh our you recollection? Got a wild story. If I had a bedroom, I'd show her. If, if you, you had, had a what? bedroom, you'd show her. Yeah. Ooh, I don't want to do that. I don't mean to do that. <laughs> no. Oh no. And I, then she tells me. Oh, I, I, I need to tell her the time and the place when it happened. I don't want you to show her. She tells me. You go get a tattoo, put my name on your chest, I'll, I'll never leave you. And I went and got a tattoo And on I got chest. one, too. What are you going to do about that? You got a tattoo on your chest? Yeah. Let me see that again. You did that too fast. He waited a whole, almost here. a whole year before he ever got that done. I got this done before oh, we even got married. wait a minute now. Don't bare your breasts. He's not bearing his breasts. <laughs> love Carol. What's that, a rose? I love Carol. I love Carol. Yep, it's a rose. I want to touch your body. She may get upset. There, it's a rose. Oh, go for it. And you got that tattoo. Yeah, because she wanted me to. Because she, she told never you if you did me. that, she'd never leave you. Right. Yeah, and I well, did this before we ever got together because I didn't plan on ever leaving him either. You did it before you got together? Before we got married. Oh, you have a tattoo also? Yes, Is I got his initials without in it. your breast? It's got his initials on it right there. Let me see. Yours doesn't have his initials. I don't see it. H-L-M. H-L-M could be anybody. <laughs> well, he knows it was when me and him was engaged. All right. He didn't say, I love H-L-M. Because then he loves me, too. You know? Now, tell me something, Miss May. If your sex life was better, would you still stay married? No. You still wouldn't stay married to him? Because I think he's got somebody else. What makes you think he has somebody else? Because I caught him coming out of her house. Oh, Whose so house? 
Refresh his recollection without telling me. I ain't been nowhere since we got separated. So no, now I'm not talking about when we were separated. She's talking about when you were married. You, she said she saw you coming we, out of somebody's house. Before we got house. the house. All right. What about your coworker kissing you at work? I didn't kiss him. He, he came up you. and kissed me on the cheek. Now remember, he only kissed she, he kissed her, but she didn't return it. I can't make your sex life happy, unfortunately. <coughs> I'm not the sex doctor, just a judge. If I, if she don't want to be married to me, I like to have my rings back. I got them before we was married. I paid for them before we got you married. You didn't finish paying them till we got married. You want and the I ring? Pay it when I got the ring. Comes rings back. that you bought her. That's right. My wedding her wedding ring. rings. That's right. You want the wedding rings back That's right. so or the money? On. I want the wedding rings. Well, the I hang rings. Them on the wall. It was not remind me not to be stupid anymore. No, get the rings back can't remind there. you That's not to be stupid. Enough. You don't need mine with it. Getting the rings back can't remind you not to be stupid. Oh, Your yeah, brain has to remind you God. not to be stupid. When divorce court returns, the judge renders her verdict. Are you really serious? You walk into my court asking me to make him pay you back because you went down there and bought a Santa Claus suit. And an update on the case of Leela Hart versus Robert Hart. I was looking for a sugar daddy. You're a big city girl and you like money. She's trying to play me for a fool, Your Honor. Divorce Court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce Court is back and the verdict is in. In the case of Carol May, who says her husband Homer's impotence is the reason their marriage didn't work. Where are the rings? You have the rings, Miss, Miss May? Yes, I do. You want to give them back? You don't like this man anymore. Don't you want him to have those rings back? No. Why not? Because I can get money out of them. Did you buy him any rings? I bought the whole, I bought the whole set. No, I never so bought rings. So where's your? Where's my your? Pocket. We bought the rings together. In my pocket. So you want to keep yours, but take back the ones that she has? Yes, yeah, so I can hang them on the wall so remind me not to get married again. And you want me to make him pay for all those things that you paid, you bought? Yes. Are you really serious? You walk into my court asking me to make him pay you back. Cause you went down there and bought a Santa Claus suit and some, some uh... He was with me when we went to get the stuff. It wasn't I, just my but decision. But let me finish. Cause you bought a Santa Claus suit and some pills and some jail or something to try to get sexually satisfied. I'm supposed to make him pay it back. Come on. Everybody gets repaid for things that you buy each other or you do during the marriage to try to make your marriage work. Now that it didn't work, make him give it back. No dice. Not here. And you, Mr. May, mm -hmm. just a silly, come in here asking for the ring back. Well, that and I want uh, money back to and take his name off my chest. You put that tattoo on your chest because you were in love. She paid for it. She I paid? I put the tattoo on my chest and I paid for this. You know, um, if you all were 20 years old and 22 years old, I may could understand you walking into my court asking me some foolish stuff like this. But as old as you are, <laughs> you ought to know better. This is my ruling. I don't need to leave the bench. The wedding ring? No. You can't have it back. I don't care why you want it back. It's her ring. And instead of buying potions and pills and lotions to try to get him to satisfy you sexually, buy something to satisfy yourself. Adjourned. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Leela Hart versus Robert Hart. I hey. don't love you. And I can't make myself try to feel something. You don't know the definition of love. Closed captioning for Divorce Court provided by... If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in divorce court. Robert Hart said when he married his wife, Leela, he felt like the luckiest man in the world. But after three years of marriage, Robert said his money ran out and so did his wife. I fell in love with her. I was looking for a sugar daddy. You're a big city girl and you like money. She trying to play me for a fool, Your Honor. When you married him and he had money, did he spend it on you? All of it. This man is undependable. Did you have money when you met him? Yes, ma'am. And now where is the money? <laughs> <laughs> I and don't love him. And I can't make myself try to feel something. You don't know the definition of love. Leela wanted Robert to pay her back the money she borrowed from her mother to buy a car. 
the judge ordered Robert to keep the car and pay back half the loan. After they left court, Robert moved back to his hometown. Leela is engaged to her new boyfriend and plans to get married in the spring. I don't think the judge ruling was fair. Because, you know, like I said, I bought the ring. I don't think it's fair. I don't feel, think that her ruling on this is fair. Uh, if he paid, he... If he pays for things and I pay for things, that shouldn't have any bearing on what we're doing. I still, I still love her very much, girl. No, I don't want any relationship. No, with anybody.